Hi there folks, well, welcome back to my channel. For this video, I'm actually back up in Argyle and Butte. And so I'm actually just on the shores of Loch Lomond. And I've come to a place called Inverugglas. I hope I pronounced that properly. And this is a bit where if you are driving along up to Crean Larich, you'll see the hydroelectric plant on the left hand side. On the other side of the road from the hydroelectric plant, there is a wee car park with a visitor centre. And that's where I've come in today because there's actually something that's quite interesting, just a short walk from the visitor centre itself, which is uh, called the Inverugla Inverugla's Pyramid, which is actually a viewing platform that gives you a really good view of Loch Lomond. So I'm going to be heading around in just a moment to let you have a look at it, because again, I knew this car park was here, I knew, that, I knew this visitor centre was here, but didn't know about the, the, the viewing platform. So it'd be quite interesting to have a wee nosy. Before I do head round, um, uh, if you're enjoying my channel, if you're enjoying my videos, if you can click on the subscribe button, click on that notification bell, leave some likes, leave some comments, it's always really appreciated. And if you'd like to support the channel further, I will post a link to the channel's coffee.com page, the channel's PayPal account and the channel's TikTok account in the description bar below and in the pinned comment in the comment section. And just a, a, wee, a wee note before I go any further, if you are coming to Inverugglas, if you're parking at the, the visitor centre, just remember it's a pay and display car park. So just bring some some pet pen coins and 50p's with you and that should be able to cover you for, for parking while you're here at the visitor centre. So with that uh, all out of the roads, I'm going to just grab my things and head on out. Yeah, I've just realised this. Inverug Glass is actually, depending on which way you're going, is actually the starting point or the end point of both uh, the Loch Lomond to Cow and Cowell Way and the Three Lochs Way. So uh, both cases you start here at Inverug Glass and you walk back along uh, the roads and uh, head to Loch Goyle Head or to Arica. So it's 50 miles and 6 miles respectively. So for any of those who enjoy doing long distance walks, maybe those are a couple that you might want to look into. Maybe a couple that I should look into myself. So this is the visitor centre. And you can go up the, is it Ankian Moor? I hope I pronounced that correctly, my Gaelic's not particularly the best. But this is one of the visitor centres you find throughout Loch Lomond and Trussex National Park. So you can come in, get something to eat, something to drink. And I think there's toilets in here as well. Also, we've got Loch Lomond over there. So. So I'm seeing or I'm, I'm keying more. And the route's up that way. If you want to try and do a bit of hill walking as well. So there's some information about the power station, which is just over my, my right hand side. So as far as I know, the water's brought up over Ben Vane from Loch Sloy and brought back down the other side of the mountain and that's what they, uh, they use that the momentum to help create hydrologic power. So I think that's Ben Vorlich, that one over there. I think that's Ben Vane there and you can just see the power station just there on the roads and you can see the, the water pipes coming down the mountain as well his head in the clouds. I walked into the loch for a wee bit. So I think we do actually have a boat coming in. There's this wee jetty here. And 
and obviously if you're ever on the water or near water be careful and there's a better view of power station yeah there's this other path up the mountain I think this is the one that takes you up towards the viewing platform uh, should be in this direction yeah so I've just came off that wee area where the steps are there's this wee dark track it takes you back towards the loch I think that's the right direction because I'm pretty sure I can just yeah I can see it through the trees That's what they're calling the, the Inverugulus Pyramid. Yeah, so that's the Inverugulus Pyramid there. The path that I was on, I just took me around the back. Yeah, so you will find the odd donation box here if you want to help donate towards the upkeep of the National Park and especially the scenic routes as well so that's actually won an uh, architectural award back in 2016 Yeah, there's a wee bit of rain coming on. I don't think you can quite see it because of the glowing of the light. But might just be a wee quick passing shower. So I might just be under undercover for a wee bit to see wait till it passes. But again, there's worse places to be. So there's some steps to take you up. Partially the top bit is closed off just now. But you can get about halfway up. Yeah, as I am always one to say, if you don't like the weather in Scotland, wait five minutes. But again, it's probably well just be a wee passing shower. And yeah, probably back to dry weather later. But that's why if you ever come to Scotland, always come prepared or expect to get a soaking. Because even though this is August, it's actually till end of August, you'd think that uh, the weather would be nice and warm. It's been quite a, a wet summer, we had about three weeks where it was a heat wave and we were all hoping for a wee bit of rain, but since then it's almost like the rain hasn't stopped, yeah, the dry climate change, and yeah, but again, West Scotland, if you are just waiting for it to be good weather, you probably won't get out and see much of the countryside. So you've got to, again, be prepared and take your chances. Oh, right, okay, so the path I pointed out earlier on was at the car park, the one that comes up past the visitor centre. Doesn't actually go up a mountain, because that's the car park there. So if I'd gone up that path, 
as they've taken me straight up to the pyramid. And uh, wandering around the other side. So, if you are coming here, and you're in the car park and you're facing the visitor centre, and there's the path on the left-hand side of the building, it takes you up. Uh, so that then Cian Moore uh, uh, take that path, and that will take you directly up to the pyramid, which is just just up there through the trees. So, I think if you are wanting to go up any mountains while you're here. It would have to be the two over there, at Ben Voilach, and the one where the, uh, the hydro scheme is. So, yeah. But again, even just walking through the, the woodlands, which I think it is predominantly silver birch, there's, there does seem to be a lot of silver birch trees here. You do get glimpses of the loch through the, the woodlands. So, even, even, even though you're not going up a mountain, so a nice wee walk. Yeah, the clag's really starting to sit in now. Because you can... I don't know if you can quite see it through the trees. You should be able to see the mountains on the other side, but I just saw it getting developed by the, by the rain and the clouds. So I'm going to start heading back to the car before it gets too heavy. Uh, but I'm not really going to get so soaked. Uh, there are some people who are kind of camping down the foreshore. But again, you have to remember if you're in Loch Lomond, or if you're within the National Park, there is a permit area. Well, if you're wanting to camp in that area, you need to get a permit. Because again, it's trying to control people coming into the area. And there's been there's been far too many who've come in and camped and have just, just left the areas where they've camped as, as utter middens. And they've just like dumped their stuff. And they've just had fire pits and they've just not done the proper thing and left no trace. That's what you're supposed to do if you're ever camping anywhere. Yeah, definitely leave no trace. But there have been people who have uh, flaunted that and that's why they've had to bring in these rules. Well, I'm going to start heading back to the car and hopefully miss the worst of this rain. Well, that's it back at the car. I think it's still a bit kind of that smurry way that can really, really light rain. In typical Scotland, the sun's still trying to come through even though it's raining. But again, Interesting wee place, and a lovely, lovely wee place just about to stop, go for a wander, just spend some time on the shores of Loch Lomans, like go up to the, to the viewing platform and just get those kind of lovely views back down Loch Lomond. So it's actually not really that far from uh, Tarbert, because the way you'd get here, or the way I would come up to here, be if I'm coming up from the south, come up, up, up the west shores of the loch, turn right at Tarbert and just follow the road up and you will you will see the sign for them for a Rue Glass visit, Visitor Centre so that's where you pull in but yeah, definitely trouble be wander even though the rain uh, wasn't really expected I thought that it's going to be drying up this afternoon but still, I enjoyed myself and hopefully you all have enjoyed this video hopefully you've all found it interesting and I'll see you all in the next video Bye-bye.